For the last 17 years, Jim the Barber has been cutting men's hair in Hamilton Road. But as from Sunday, he will be expanding his range of services. So let's find out what men can get at this place, other than a short back and sides. So Jim, tell us about the services that you'll be offering from Sunday. Well, I think it's only fair. I mean, for about four or five hundred years now, we have been allowed to practice medicine, but we just forgot about it. And back in the days of Samuel Pepys, we were barber surgeons. That was our title. That's the, the you know, the, the red and white pole we used to have outside mm -hmm. the shop? Yeah. That's the blood and the bandages, bloodletting. There's a big shortage of dentists, doctors, uh, massive queues in the waiting room. Whereas, you know, I can fit in the odd surgery between haircuts. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, what sort of procedures will you be starting off with? I mean, I assume you oh. need to kind of be letting everyone in the area know what you're going to be doing. Yeah, you know, so. I've got the, the signs up out in the window there. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll start off with um, simple things like fractures and uh, dentistry, a bit of tooth pulling and a bit of bloodletting and... Um, Go on to other things, you know, surgery. Well, there's a big demand mm. for various mm. things to do with feet. I mean, as a woman with, you know, pointy shoes, the ingrowing toenail problem sure. is a yep. regular one for many mm. women. So will, yep. that be, yeah. will you be treating women as, men, oh, as well yeah. as yeah. men? Yeah. So, uh, Jim, the law says that obviously you are allowed to um, practice these procedures, oh, yes. but have um, you had to have um, any specialist training? Well, primarily, yes, you, you, you have to train a little bit, but then again, you see, I've got all that, haven't I? I mean, I know how to use sharp instruments and tools and pliers, and I've watched doctors working, and dentists pulling teeth out. I had a lot of teeth pulled out myself, and yeah, you learn these things as you watch. After all, I suppose doctors learn, don't they, by reading books, and that's how I learn. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. are you hoping for some kind of recognition from the Royal College of Surgeons? Oh, I think I'm entitled to it. So, Jim, you'll obviously need some uh, equipment in order to carry out the uh, various operations that you'll be um, mm. offering. Yeah. Um, what, what sort of things have well, you we, had to get in? we converted one of our rooms at the back there. We're in the middle of converting it now. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a mess, but we've got the sign on the door and we've got a, a, a table in there, an operating table, a long one, which um, you know, you're quite happy to look at. Film. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we're getting it all painted up in nice white and um, the red crosses on the door and things mm -hmm. like that. You've got to have these things, you see. People Absolutely, it's yeah. all part of it. I'm advertising now, as you can see from the sign of the window, I'm advertising for a theatre nurse and a receptionist. I'm hoping that one of the girls that works in the dental surgeries want to come and work for me. They've got the experience and they can help, they can offer advice and stuff like that while I'm doing the operation. So, Jim, tell me about the anaesthetics that you're going to be using. Um, I don't know, I'm probably a large mallet, because <laughs> there's anything to start with. But I've always found whiskey sends me to sleep, so ah. maybe if I can get enough whiskey and... Jim, the closure of the Bartlett um, mm. is a big issue for people in Felixstowe, right. and obviously yeah, they'll be worried good. about aftercare and things like mm. that. So what? Um, how do you propose to kind of, you know, let people well, know? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting to get the Bartlett kept on here, and uh, I'm hoping that somebody's going to come forward with the money and buy it for us, but I've got to have somewhere to send my patients, because mm. um, they, they might need, initially, uh, they might need a lot more aftercare than the, the local doctors do because you know, I'm going to make a few mistakes as I go along obviously. Inevitably. So you'll be starting off with fairly minor procedures but do you have any ambitions to make this you know a much larger part of well, your business? Yeah I, I would like eventually to take on a, a few partners maybe some of the local doctors could come and work with me and mm -hmm. um, we could then go on from there then I can concentrate on what I like doing which is writing. You know, I'd, I'd probably make more money at writing than I can in surgery but well, you're already a successful gonna... author aren't you oh, yeah, um, and you've got a new book coming out haven't you right. soon yeah and what's yeah. that called that's called Samantha that's a, a love story but most of the ones I've written are comedy so like I've your written. writing this is mm. branching out into some new territory um, and well, uh, I'd like to write a, a new look at surgery I, I, I think that all the old books I've got a lot of medical books obviously and that's how I got my ideas from they're a little bit too serious. I don't think there's mm. enough levity in it. You know? So, Jim, remind us when your services will be starting. Well, I'm going to start from this Sunday, um, April the 1st, simply because you've got to, you know, get this, have a starting date somewhere. Yeah. Well, Fit good in. luck with this new venture. Thank you. And yeah. may it be very successful. Well, maybe later on you can come along and film one of the operations. Yeah, oh, we'd maybe. love to. Yeah. We'd love yeah. to. Yeah. Good. Thank you. What, what do you think of that colour, then? Subtle. This is Alex Davis for Felixstowe TV.